Hi, I'm Mike Ridley and welcome to Powerboat Television. Montreal is a city for all season, but it really comes alive in the summertime. So join us as we visit the old port and town of Montreal. Getting there by boat is an adventure, but one to be savored and enjoyed regardless of your port of origin. Many loopers make Montreal a must-see destination as they navigate up the Richelieu River and Chambly Canal to the St. Lawrence and head west. To make our first visit easier, we had Julie Nadeau from Performance Marine aboard to navigate. So in this direction, we're coming from the Richelieu River or Quebec City, and uh, we're heading to uh, the old port of Montreal. What you see on your uh, right side is the commercial part of the uh, old port of Montreal, but there is two part of uh, this uh, section of the city that are very nice for boaters. We have, uh, we're heading to Marina Quai de l'Horloge and the uh, Port d'Escales. So uh, when you're coming from uh, Richelieu River or Quebec City and you're heading from, to Montreal, you can get some uh, diesel or gas at uh, the Longueuil Marina. And it's what you can see on your left side. There is a channel that you can follow to go inside the marina where they can help you with that. And it's one uh, of the only places that they have travel lift to get out a uh, cruiser if you have any problem with it. All right, so near the uh, Jean Cartier Bridge, you should uh, ride clo more close to the uh, cement wall. There is less current, so especially for boaters who have less power or they want to ride more quietly, uh, it's a better thing to ride more close to the cement wall. Uh, anyway, the, all the, mar the two markers, the red and green markers on the bridge, are more on that side anyway. The first marina you will encounter is the Montreal Yacht Club that is located in the Clock Tower Basin at the east end of the Old Port. Here we are in the Yacht Club of Montreal. It's uh, made for uh, a long period of stays. Uh, they can have both uh, 20 to 100 feet. There is uh, 40 feet of water deep, so you can go with mostly any uh, cruiser or any big yacht. And there is all the services as a big marina, so they have a pump out at your dock, they have laundromat, they have uh, electricity to uh, 50 and 30 amps, and all the uh, shower and other service like that. So tell me where we're going into now. We're going to the Bal d'Escale of the Old Port of Montreal. This is a place that is made uh, to do a short-term stays, and you're very uh, into all the action. Uh, you write down all the restaurants, all the activities, and it's a very movement place, but it's very fun because there is a lot of uh, people and uh, a lot of everything. Like. After docking in Port Descal, I had the chance to chat with the harbour master, Marco Lenzi, about the facility. The marina of the old port of Montreal is situated in the heart of Montreal and uh, uh, we have two facilities here in the old port where we have the Yacht Club of Montreal and the Paul d'Escale. Uh, the Yacht Club is dedicated to uh, seasonal customers and we're more dedicated to uh, the transient customers that come in. We have over 110 slips and uh, we uh, can take a, a variety of sizes from 10 to 250 feet uh, worth of uh, vessel sizes here in, in the old port. Plans for the future, uh, the marina is being redone completely. So uh, we, we will be set up uh, with uh, brand new docks all of next year. Uh, the Paul d'Escale, uh, the only thing remaining is that uh, section 16, which is on the wall, and everything else will be brand new. Uh, we'll have completely new electricity, new power for all types of boats from 15 to uh, 400 amps, uh, depending on uh, the big vessels that do come to us. We said our thanks to Marco and headed out to explore the keys of the old port and take in the sights. Later in the show, we'll have more from Old Montreal. There's no place like the cobblestone streets of Old Montreal, where in just a few minutes' walk from your boat, you can lose yourself amongst the gracious architecture of these buildings dating back to the 18th century. But since we are docked in the port, Descal, when you first step ashore, you are in the heart of the keys of the old port, so we started our tour there. The old port is a major redevelopment of the old commercial wharfs and the warehouses 
that took place in the early 90s. The keys of the old port stretch over two kilometers along the St. Lawrence River from the entrance of the historic Lachine Canal to the Clock Tower Basin. The Promenade Walk, as the riverfront is called, offers a place for walking, cycling, rollerblading, and trolley tours throughout the old port. The rebuilt warehouses also offer shopping and dining, including outdoor cafes to sit back and watch the world stroll by along the river. And it was on the promenade that we met up with Jean Barrowby from the Old Port of Montreal. At the Old Port here, the Keys of the Old Port is a really great place. We have, for people who just want to relax, we have five terraces, different terraces with uh, different kind of meal, and so Mediterranean meal and uh, seafood, uh, tapas. And the particularity of those terraces is the view on the city and on the St. Laurent River. It's really a great place to, uh, to see the, the, the city and the river. Also, we have many activities, uh, some special activities like the promenade, our, our circus promenade. We have about 15 different circus acts. It's free uh, during the day, uh, performing uh, with professional circus artists. So it's really a great, uh, great kind of entertainment. If it's raining, there are so many activities you can do at the old park. In fact, the science center may be the best, the best way to, uh, to pass the day because there are so many experiences, so many exhibitions in the science center, science center. And we have the IMAX theater with all kinds of IMAX film, 3D or 2D, but always a great, great film. In fact, maybe the best film in the industry of IMAX theater are in the old port. When you've had your fill of the fun and entertainment of the key, Old Montreal beckons from across the park where the old warehouses still face the river along Rue de la Commune. If you want to tour the old town, pick up one of the many walking tour guides and strike out on your own. In the eastern part of the old city near Place Jacques Cartier are found such important buildings as Montreal City Hall, Notre Dame de Bon Secours Chapelle, and Bon Secours Market. Once in the old town, it becomes quite clear why this destination thrives. History and the passage of time have left a unique mark on every street. Quaint shops of the 1600s blend with 18th century warehouses, all converted to shops, galleries, and unique hotels. The cobblestone lanes, street artists and vendors, Victorian street lamps, and flowers galore win over visitors immediately. As the sun sets, Montrealers start to come out and the cafes and streets fill with people entertained by a wide variety of street performers and musicians. Cruising into Old Montreal has certainly been a unique experience, first navigating the fast waters of the St. Lawrence through a busy commercial port, then stepping back in time in Old Montreal. Certainly a cruise well worth taking.